everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site today doing boards on this entire wall back here. It's been going pretty well. One thing that I made sure that I did when I was putting the stud wall together is that I thought ahead about the, the dimensions of the lumber that I had, and I put this stud here, which you see is kind of like oddly not the 16 inch center, you know, this kind of this alternate kind of break here. But the reason I did that was so that I could take a 12 foot board, because I know I have a lot of 12 foot boards down here to your right, and it would end right in the middle there. Um, and because of that, I've been able to put these boards up with zero scrap, pretty much, which has been working out pretty well. Um, I've been having that fly up today. My dad came to help also, and he's been working on electrical boxes. We're still, I, I haven't. <coughs> I haven't heard back from the electrician that I'm gonna be hiring to help out with this thing. Uh, I have no doubt that I'm gonna hear from him though. Probably not actually, I'm planning on him not calling back. I'm gonna be calling him back in the next day or so just to see you know, you know, what's up because I haven't heard from him in a little over a week. Uh, but you know, there's nothing wrong with cutting your own electrical boxes. So we've started doing that and, uh, and that's been going pretty uh, well too. Also had a lot of discussions about the stairways and the way that the uh, the ban is it banisters or balusters, Dad? Well, it was the banister balusters are the vertical and banisters are the handrails. Balusters are the vertical ones. I, I don't know why I had to make them so close together. I can't remember. Uh, so we had a bunch of uh, discussions about like kind of spacing on those. And it's just there's so I was just saying earlier uh, there's just so much uh, there's so many intricate little things you got to kind of figure out that kind of fold into all these other decisions that you have to make. And I don't say that to dissuade people from doing your own project. It's a, it's a you know, very rewarding, wonderful uh, endeavor to get into. But it's, uh, it's oftentimes surprising that something that seems like it's kind of straightforward uh, can have a lot of uh, intricacies that kind of impact. And specifically what I'm talking about is that you want your, is it balusters? Balusters. Bal you want your balusters, which are the vertical things that kind of keep someone from falling off the side of the stairs. You want them to kind of have a consistent even look as they go up and uh, trying to like figure out like how that those are going to interact with the post that's going to be at the bottom. You want to have kind of a, a consistent kind of feel from the post to the balusters going all the way up. There's just a lot of things that you have to think about. So you know you want to work on one project and you kind of have to think ahead and think about all these other things you're going to be doing down the road and I guess just keep it floating around in your head. I don't write a lot down. I don't know, I just I hope I remember all of it. So uh, so yeah, that's what we've been doing today. This has been going up. Uh, took, finally took the pressure tank off of the uh, hang from the ceiling, which was nice. And uh, yeah, things are going forward. The only other thing that's going on today is we're gonna do a take two on bringing back all those wire lath sheets. I've got approval from Home Depot corporate who said that uh, while it was 100% correct that we were turned down, that the store made the right call on that, uh, they were just going to be awesome and they were going to take the stuff back anyway, which is good, but also, you know, I still just feel really unsettled about it because, you know, I've loved Home Depot for the longest time. I've been like huge boosters for them because they're so great about like, you know, buy a ton of stuff, have plenty on site, and then they'll take everything back. And now I just feel really uncomfortable about it. Um, you know, when push came to shove, they did it anyway, but they gave me a real hard time about it. And from now on, I'm just going to feel like, awkward and kind of uncomfortable and probably a little bit more stingy about, you know, what I buy and I'm sure I'm going to be giving them less money as a result, you know, just because, you know, I don't want to be left with 50 sheets of wire lath that I don't know what to do with someday. So that's it. That's what we're doing today, but things are going forward and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.